You're listening to the Future Tech Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies such as artificial intelligence, stem cells, 3D printing, gene editing, Bitcoin, blockchain, the microbiome, quantum computing, virtual reality, and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you've enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Future Tech and Future Tech Health Podcast. And I have uh, Jeff Dachis, the CEO and founder of uh, OneDrop. It's a diabetes management platform that uses uh, mobile computing and data sciences data science to uh, help people with diabetes live their best lives. Uh, it's an app that I recently downloaded and tried out, and um, it's pretty remarkable. Um, I'll get into why, but uh, it's the only app I've ever downloaded that uh, instead of me looking to try to contact the owners, uh, the app started sending me emails and great messages and tips and, and everything right away. So I was like shocked. <laughs> so so far, so good. And uh, speaking with Jeff today. So Jeff, thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the kind words. Yeah. Yeah, so tell me, what um, what's your history? Why did you uh, create an app like this? Uh, well, first of all, um, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, in September of 2013. And I had a interesting and not so great experience with um, my doctor when I was diagnosed. I went in and they had looked at my blood values and I got about six minutes with a nurse practitioner and an insulin pen and a prescription and a pad in the back and I was out the door. And I went home and I, I really didn't know what to do with myself. I, I, was, I was shocked. You know, I'm a, I'm a healthy guy. I eat really well. I um, exercise. I'm a marathoner. And I was sort of unable to process the experience that I just had. Here I was given this life-threatening diagnosis um, and very little information, education, or understanding about what to do with it. Um, and I, I, I literally, I cried. I, I mean, I, I put my hands over my head and I, I cried for quite a while. And finally, after like a couple of days of throwing this pity party for myself, I, I picked myself up by the bootstraps and thought, I wonder if there's something that I can do about this. And because of my background in technology, uh, I started thinking a bit about if I had better information about the things that matter to a person with diabetes, food, medication, physical fitness and activity, and then of course, glucose information, perhaps I could you know, extract value from that information to help me make better choices leaning into the future, as opposed to reacting to things that already happened to me, was there a way that I could look forward at the, you know, the data that I have and, and come up with insights on, on what to do before bad things happened to me? And sort of that was really the genesis of, of starting OneDrop was, could, could we create a system that enabled people to change their behavior and make better choices about the future um, versus this sort of reactive, um, uh, retrospective view that healthcare has today. And uh, that's really what we did mm. when we started OneDrop about a year later. Yeah. Uh, so you have type one and obviously the app is designed partially for type ones, but what about if someone has type two diabetes or, you know, if they have, uh, they've been told they have pre-diabetes and they need to, you know, watch out and be careful. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, because OneDrop sort of focuses on, on three main areas, um, one is our predictive data science, two is our one-on-one -on -one dedicated personal guided care experts, coaches, and lastly, um, an ecosystem of connected devices and supplies, including our own. Uh, we're able to help people track the things that matter to them in a personalized way give them a guided care program um, for the condition that they're trying to live with and ensure that they have the tools and supplies that they need to, 
to, to live with that condition in the best way. And so whether that's hypertension, hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol, uh, high blood pressure, prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, or type 1 diabetes, OneDrop as a platform um, is able to help you uh, live with those conditions and li live really live your best life that way. So I've seen you know, lots of apps where they tell you, oh, log your blood sugars and you know, log your foods and, and all that stuff. But how is um, OneDrop different? You know, people, I guess, log their information, but what, what happens to the info and what kind of interactions would they have with the app or with the coaches? That's also a great question. Obviously, being able to do the kind of things we do with the data that we collect from all of the people that have the 1.2 million people in 195 countries that have utilized one drop in over 10 languages now, um, we had to make it easy for them to, um, to put their data into the platform so that that data could become useful to them. And that each and every data point that they offered us also was used to help everybody else on the platform. And that's sort of just a core fundamental belief that we have is, is that we're all in this problem together, this health, this health problem that we all have together that, that's all tied with food and, and exercise and medications and all the things that, that may be impacting our health, sleep, blood pressure, uh, you know, stress. Um, and so when we enable people to, to input their data into the platform, it's clear that when they do so, they're really doing it not only for themselves, but to help everybody else that's on the platform um, get healthier. And so just to say that's a core fundamental belief that we have. Um, we had to make it easy for people to engage that way. So our glucose meter is wireless. You, you, if you use a glucose meter, you don't really have to do anything other than check your blood. It automatically syncs all of that glucose data into the app. Um, we automatically track all of your steps and all of your physical fitness activity with your phone. If you happen to use a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or a Garmin or any of the other thousands of apps that are out there, Lose It, Runtastic, um, you know, Peloton, uh, pick your favorite um, apps or devices that are out there, OneDrop integrates seamlessly with all of that. So as an example, I stepped on the scale this morning in my bathroom. I didn't do anything that weight entry was automatically in one drop a minute later. Um, I checked my, I, well, strangely, you know, like I don't have a high blood pressure, but I checked my blood pressure this morning here in the office. I have a blood pressure cuff. Automatically, um, all of that data sent into one drop. I use a connected insulin pen. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I just uh, inject myself with that insulin pen. All of that data automatically flows into one drop. I take a bunch of medications. So I take Crestor for high cholesterol and um, uh, Synthroid for my uh, uh, thyroid and a bunch of other stuff. And most people with chronic conditions are, are not just afflicted by one thing. They, have, they take medications for tons of things. And so OneDrop has automated medication reminders that allow me to simply just you know, click on the push notification that shows up on my phone that says that I took the med as soon as it, it reminds me to. And I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to do any data entry into OneDrop. So most of the things that I need to engage with for my health, my weight, my, my medications, my glucose information, um, my insulin for me, all of that stuff is automatically entered into OneDrop physical activity. The one area that's, that's a bit challenging is food. And I think you know, logging food is an important aspect of, of what we track. We, we try to make it as simple as possible. So we have a an amazing, um, I think the world's largest, you know, food library database. You can scan a barcode um, in OneDrop and it'll automatically enter your food. You can create different meals by building ingredients together because I often eat the same things every day. So, you know, my, 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 my favorite breakfast, I just tap just breakfast and it automatically enters that in. And then we make it super easy to do things like that with Siri or Alexa. You can just say, um, you know, hey, Siri, Jeff's breakfast, and it'll automatically log my breakfast for me um, with voice control. <laughs> yeah, that's so, great. So you've taken away a lot of the hurdles and uh, allowed people to co collect all this data seamlessly and in one place. That's fantastic. That, that's really the goal. You know, it's not perfect by any means, but we certainly have a, uh, an aggressive forward-leaning view on making it really easy to do those things so that you have that data in front of you, so that data is... Um, is accessible to you and that our insights and our predictions and our glucose forecast can become more valuable for you. 
yeah, if you don't make it easy, then people are not likely to do it, not likely to engage and not likely to get the help. So it's critical what you're doing, but it's smart. It makes total sense. That, that, that That's really the name of the game. If you don't make it easy, people don't use it. I think that's the problem with a lot of our healthcare today. It's like you, you're forcing people to jump through hoops that they're never going to jump through, you know? And so then it's like, well, how are you supposed to get healthier, a healthier heart, you know, if you're not losing the weight or exercising every day. That's what the doctor says, right? Lose the weight, exercise every day. But in the end, like it's hard for people who are working two jobs or who struggle to find cab fare to get to wherever they're going or, you know, to, uh, you know, who, who may be divorced and, and, and single parenting or, you know, have kids that, that all of those stressors on life don't offer up the opportunity to do what the doctor said, which is just lose weight. You need to have, um, you know, the ease of use and and, and um, pro- programmatic as well as, um, you know, devices and technology that, that just make it easy for you, um, relieve the burden of managing these conditions. And that's really what we try to do. So what's happening with all this data that gets put in? Um, do, do you sit there and review your data or do you just keep it all? And, you know, when you go to the doctor, you say, here, doc, look at all this. I mean, what are some examples of people using data in a really beneficial way? So I think you hit on a couple of really great points. Um, one being uh, having a record of what you did is a great conversation starter with your healthcare professional, right? So if it's your doctor or your nurse or whoever you're going to see professionally for the condition that you have, the ability to have all of that information right there in front of you to have the conversation so that you can work through problems or issues that you might be having um, right away, you know, that it offers a, a, an empowering leg up when you go to the doctor, because typically, you know, you're, you're basically flying blind. Somebody's behind a keyboard clacking away at some, some medical record thing that they're working on. You don't really get to see any of that data or that information. You don't really get access to all that that info. And now you're going in, you know, empowered with your own data and your own information so that you're having um, a dialogue and a conversation versus just a one-way monologue from the doctor to you uh, about what's working and what's not working. So that's a great place to start, whether it's just showing the doc your app or whether it's printing out the reports or, and emailing them um, to the doctor or giving the doctor access to one drop to real time for reports which is just a link where all of your data is updated in real time. Uh, all of those are great ways to engage the healthcare professional that's helping you with the condition. Beyond that, you know, I find that having access to my own data and being able to visualize it in different ways, whether it's OneDrop's augmented reality data visualization, which are really cool, but enable me to see where my hotspots are, uh, whether it's all the different views on my data, whether it's time and range for a person with diabetes or the different components of what happened during each day and how I, um, uh, the struggles that I that I had or the challenges that I faced or, the, or, or where I did really well. For me, that's a really um, helpful way for me to look at what I did and what happened to me when I did it and be able to course correct, um, you know, on the way. But the biggest aspect, the biggest thing that we're doing, you know, with that data beyond enabling you to and be empowered with your healthcare provider dialogue and beyond being able to empower yourself with a retrospective view on what happened to you and uh, what, what you did and what happened to you when you did it is the ability to predict the future. Um, and with our glucose forecast today, we're able to predict for, for certain, for type twos as an example, um, up to 12 hours in advance what your blood glucose values are going to be. And so if you're going to run into a, a hot spot or a problem spot in the next 12 hours, we can show you your forecast. It looks like a weather map, right? You, you, you know, here's your glucose forecast for the next 12 hours. And here's where it's expected to be. And we're so accurate with that, that we're able to enable people to make better choices along the way. So we give you your forecast, and then we're going to give you an insight on what you can do. So your blood glucose is expected to go high for the next four hours. And here are the things you can do to bring your glucose values down into a safe range, or your blood glucose values look like they're going to go low in the next hour. Um, Here's what you can do to bring those glucose values into a safe range. And knowing what you can do for the future versus always examining what already happened to you in the past is like having an advanced collision avoidance system for your car, right? Or self-driving for your car. 
you're able to, you know, see where the potholes are in the future and avoid them, you know, avoid the rough road and stay on the smooth and easy path. And that's really what one drop is now providing with all that data is kind of, I'm going to, I'm using a car metaphor, but it's advanced collision avoidance systems so that we know where you're going and can help you stay on, on, on the smooth diabetes journey. Do you uh, interface with them? So you have your own device where you can stick yourself and get your blood, your sugar. Do you interface with CGMs or um, other commercial, um, you know, finger stick devices? Sure. So any of the connected BGMs, blood glucose meters that are out there, um, if you if you use a one touch or an AccuCheck or an eye health meter or any of the sort of connected meters that are out there, um, all of that data flows seamlessly into OneDrop instantly. So if you don't use our meter in strips, you certainly can use any of the connected health meters that are out there. Um, and, and that data flows seamlessly right into OneDrop. You can also manually enter in your BGMs into OneDrop if you feel like it. And then on CGM, yeah, we have a direct data pipeline with, with Dexcom and all of the Dexcom data um, for type ones, CGMs flows seamlessly into OneDrop. So it's a it's a an environment where we're very open to as many connected uh, health devices as, as as we can have. That's great. And you mentioned uh, coaching or coaches earlier. What's that look like? When when would that scenario occur, and how does it work? Yep. So one drops available for free uh, in 195 countries today in 10 languages, as I mentioned. Um, it's it's been downloaded, you know, almost. I guess now 1.3 million times, you know, worldwide. And people love the free platform, but to access your own diabetes program um, or pre-diabetes program or high cholesterol, hyper, hyperlipidemia or hypertension, high blood pressure programs, um, you have to be a subscriber to OneDrop. And so once you subscribe to OneDrop, um, you get all of the supplies you need. You get the meter, um, all the strips that you need based on a plan that you choose. Uh, and then a dedicated one-on-one -on -one personal guided care coach and program. And that coach is going to guide you through um, the, the uh, let's pick diabetes as an example, a diabetes self-management education program to help you build skills, help you set goals, and help you lower your A1C and stay healthy. And um, those coaches are your dedicated coach. So when you choose Alex, you get to choose a coach. When you choose Alex as your coach, Alex is, is your coach forever um, through the program. And then even on call, whenever you need her, if you choose Rachel, then Rachel's your coach and Rachel guides you through the program. And when you're done with the program, Rachel's your coach on call forever, as long as you need her. You have a dedicated one-on-one -on -one certified diabetes educator coach available 247-365 in the app via text messages. And so you you're basically just text chatting with your coach and um, they are your personal guided care coach that helps you through um, these issues. Some people have issues with food. Some people are stressed out. Some people are having choices, a, a difficult time making choices when they um, are shopping. You know, some people are stressed out because of the divorce or, or work issues. And so the coaches can help you um, build skills, and navigate these, you know, to use Adam's, uh, Adam Brown's terms, you know, these um, bright spots and landmines. And, um, uh, you know, it's great having somebody available that knows the condition that you have, understand you as an individual and your specific thing. Um, I love pasta, you know, and it's like every time I see a bowl of pasta, it's hard for me to, you know, <laughs> you know, my mom used to make pasta. And yeah. I love, and, and, and my mom made it. And, and in a way, when I was eating my pasta with my mom, it, it, it signified love, right? I, I, was, I was fulfilling yep. my mother-son relationship with love. And so now it's hard for me to not eat the pasta, you know? And I'm giving that as an example, but our coaches are rooted in behavioral science. Their, their skill sets are rooted in behavioral science. And so they're gonna help you build skills so that you can make choices to avoid uh, the, the landmines that are maybe causing you um, you know, to, to have health issues. And what happens to a person's data that's in there and other people's data? You, you mentioned that uh, you use it to help everybody. So one way I guess that could happen is your glucose prediction system could maybe pseudonymize or anonymize the data and use that. Um, but how is data used by all the people on the platform? 
It's a great question, and we take data security and privacy privacy extremely seriously. So, um, one, you know, the only data that we use on a non on a de-identified, I mean, on an identified basis, is is data for you. So you get to see your data. Um, your coach also sees your data. Um, other than that, all of the other data is de-identified and anonymized and put into a a data repository where we analyze it and we help make predictions for everybody on the platform. Um, we have um, extremely serious um, encryption technology. Uh, our, our data warehousing is, is extremely secure. We're um, never, ever, 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 ever going to sell your data to anybody, ever. We're never going to use your data to allow anyone else to market anything to you or at you. We will never share your data with anybody on the platform on an identified basis unless you give your consent. So we're we're a um, we're very, we take data and data privacy very seriously because the ability to um, provide these exceptional sort of predicting capabilities uh, on the service is super important to us, and we know that the trust and trusted relationship that we have with our with our users is, is really all we have. And operating with integrity is the only way to be. Okay, that's great. What What are some of the um, the macro trends that you're seeing with the data? Are you seeing that people are eating differently, or once they get onto the app, their eating changes, or just in society in general? Are you seeing uh, trends emerging? Generally, people that use one drop are lowering their A1Cs, losing weight, and getting healthier. So, broadly speaking, you know, having a platform like one drop to um, engage in a in a healthier self care treatment path um, yields the results. I mean, we we have now over 20 clinical studies that we've published or presented that are all peer reviewed, and the evidence speaks for itself. Um, one drop helps people lower their A1C, lose weight, and 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 live healthier lives. And that proof is in the pudding, um, so to speak. You know, and so it's it's great for me to talk about how cool it is, but but really in the end, what matters most is that our users are getting healthier and that they like utilizing the program. But how do you um, up someone's engagement? You know, once they start using OneDrop, how do you get them to keep using it and maybe take it to the next level? Um, you know, really manage their condition and try to improve themselves. How do you get them on a path where they just naturally seem to improve over time? So I think broadly speaking, people have to want to engage in their in their self care, right? So I can't just throw one drop at you and all of a sudden magically you're gonna become healthier like a pill. You know, you got it you gotta you gotta to wanna to do it. But if you wanna do it, we certainly have the program, the guidance and the technology that makes it, you know, easier for you to do it than what I would argue is anything else in the market. One. Two. Everything we do, every single thing we do, every button, every email, every every touch point that we have with our users is rooted in the deepest sense of empathy for the condition they have and uh, problems and challenges and opportunities um, that they're going through. I have diabetes. I know what it's like to live with diabetes. Every single person that works at OneDrop either has diabetes or has somebody directly in their family that has diabetes or one of the conditions that we, that we work with. And so what you're dealing with is a group of people who are so passionate about making people's lives better, making their lives easier, and are doing so from a place of understanding. I know what it's like to have you know, a, 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 an insulin crash. I know what it's like to be high and struggle with getting my glucose values down over time. I know what it's like to deal with the burden of alarms or, um, you know, all of the things that uh, somebody has to go through when managing the condition that I have. And while we certainly don't get it right every time, every single thing we do is rooted in a deep, deep sense of empathy and understanding for what the person with that condition is going through. And then moreover, an immense sense of gratitude from our entire team for our users trusting us to try to make the best products that we can for them. We, we, we 
relish in the thought that, um, and, are, and, are, and are respectful of the thought that each of our users are going through their own struggles in life and their own challenges. And our company only exists with their support. And so everything we do every single day is rooted in this kind of deep sense of empathy and understanding and a deep sense of gratitude for the opportunity to try to make a difference in people's lives. And so when we approach everything we do, whether it's an email or a, or a button or a login process or a, you know, log your glucose or anything like that, it's, it's with love. I mean, we, we are a company that is rooted in this sense of, of love for our users. And so, um, and I say that without any, any hesitation, we are deeply committed to, to helping our users overcome the challenges that they have in managing the conditions that they, that they have and, and live healthier lives. Great. So what's ahead for OneDrop over the next uh, year or so? Well, we've been, um, you know, growing the business, which has been great. We've been adding staff, which is, which is also great. Um, the goal of bringing more high quality um, uh, diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, high blood pressure, uh, prediabetes condition management programs into the market is is really where we're focused for the coming year. We're bringing those programs to both consumers, um, direct to consumer through our, our our main consumer offering, and then now moving into the employer market space where employers can um, contract with OneDrop to manage the health of their employees um, in these conditions. And I think we offer a really robust you know, consumer offering that, that has informed our ability to um, successfully engage employees in employer-sponsored plans um, in, in engaging in their health. And so if you've got a big employee base and you have a certain percentage of those employees that have diabetes or high blood pressure or high cholesterol or weight problems, um, OneDrop is sort of the perfect platform to bring uh, to them to help them, you know, engage in those conditions and, and stay healthier, be more productive, um, and live happier lives at, at the company that you work for. So um, that's a big push for us this coming year. Um, we've got a bunch of international expansion happening as well. Uh, we've got some some cool stuff under the covers that I can't really talk about yet, but um, a lot of really interesting things coming for the for the year, and, and we're excited to to be able to offer that to to all the customers. Um, okay. You know, yep. So what's the best way for people to uh, try out OneDrop? Is it available on Android, and iPhone, and how can they get it? Yeah, um, people can try out OneDrop by downloading the app at OneDrop. Um, I mean, on, on, in the uh, iOS uh, app store or in the Android app store. Um, you can also go to OneDrop.today, www.OneDrop.today, and uh, check out everything that we've got there. Um, and, and people can free, feel free to email me, Jeff at OneDrop.today, if they have any questions or just want to contact me uh, because I'm I'm here and <laughs> interested in, in engaging in, in as many ways as we can with people that, that struggle with these health conditions. That's great. Well, Jeff, I mean, it shows in all ways, every single way. And, you know, myself as a user of the app and all that, I, I can see it right away. So that you're passionate and, uh, and you're here to help. So thanks for coming on the podcast. I appreciate it. Oh, no, thank you so much for having me and just grateful for the opportunity to, to connect with you. You're listening to the Future Tech Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies such as artificial intelligence, stem cells, 3D printing, gene editing, Bitcoin, blockchain, the microbiome, quantum computing, virtual reality, and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Thank you.